guys, Jack here. Welcome back to the third video in my beginner guitar series here on my YouTube channel. Thanks again for checking this one out. So this is really important because it's all about tuning your guitar. So there are a number of ways you can tune your guitar. There are probably two main ways of tuning your guitar, okay? The first one is with a guitar tuner. Now, I'm gonna go through two different guitar tuners for you, right? If I can find my guitar tuner, here it is. This is my guitar tuner that I use. I love it. It's like a little clip-on tuner. If I put it on, you're never going to see it because like, the screen is dying out for some weird reason because my battery's going on it. But it does the job still. So it's a little Fender. It's called Fender FT004. You can click on the link below. Uh, it'll take you to like an Amazon thing. I'm not affiliated to it. Maybe I should be. Earn some money. But anyway, it's a great little tuner because what happens is you clip it on the end of, the, of your headstock here, right? What it does is, does two things. It's got a microphone, so here's the guitar. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to show you an example in a minute. A better example than this. Basically what it does is, it, it highlights green when I've got a perfect tuning. And it's got like a little needle, and I'm going to show you in a minute how this works. Close up, you'll see it better. The needle goes up and down, telling me how close I am to the correct tuning of my string. So if I hit this uh, thicker E, the low E, it will say to me, I'm either... You know, I'm either um, too toned down, or I'm too high, or I'm whatever, I'm too low, or I'm too high, the needle like flick, and as I'm turning my tuning pegs, it'll then go into the middle, okay, and then it'll go green, and be like, yeah, you've done it. But this is like, I think five, ten bucks off Amazon, amazing little thing. The other thing that I love about this, is not only does it have a microphone, but it works on the vibration of the string, so it gives you the most pitch perfect tuning, because it works on the vibration, sitting up here. The other thing is, I use it for my ukulele. So if you also play the ukulele, or you're thinking about playing the uke, please get one of these, because it does ukulele, it does guitar, uh, it's violin, if you ever <laughs> play violin, and a couple of other instruments as well. But it's a great little tuner. I love it because it just sits there on my guitar normally, I don't have to worry about it. I actually have two, because I have one on there, on my uke, and I have one on here. I've just bought two. Um, but yeah, these are great. Really, really cost effective. The other thing you could do is download some apps. Now, the apps are really cool. Where's my phone gone? Hang on. Oh, there we go. Sorry, professional as ever. They're pretty cool. Like, you get different ones. You can probably see the dial there. Don't know if you can see that. It's kind of like moving. Um, again, they're okay. So what you do is, it obviously relies on the microphone of your phone. So you've got to put your phone on your lap. You just pop it down there. And then you hit the, uh, hit the string. And it tells you again, it's like a needle effect. Exactly the same as a needle. Tells you how close you are to tuning. I, I use these as well. Sometimes if I forget my tuner, I've always got my phone on me, so that's pretty handy. I've got about three on it. I've actually got a really wicked ukulele one. It's great. It's a great app. But this is uh, you can just go onto the app store, download them for free. They're pretty cool. So check those out. Um, the other alternative is to tune your guitar by ear. Okay, and you're probably going to go what? So I'm going to show you right at the end of this video how to do that as well. So. Let's quickly show you how I would tune my guitar, okay? And we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna do a split screen, okay? So check this out, I'm gonna show you how to tune your guitar. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna kind of split screen and share with you. I've got a tuner on my laptop, which is pretty cool, as well. So I've got one on my laptop as well, not bad. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna completely, not, you probably can't see it because the screen's not very sharp, um, the light and stuff. So, we're gonna split screen it, so I'm gonna kind of screen record this, but first of all, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to completely detune my guitar. Okay, so I'm completely detuning my guitar. Let's have a listen. That doesn't sound very good, does it? Right, so check this out, okay? So I'm going to look at the tuner. You should be able to see this down on your screen as well. And we're going to go for a thick E, so high, uh, low E. Okay, so it's showing like a C. Now in alphabetical terms, the music is A, B, C. So I'm going to go D, E. So I'm going to tighten it. I'm going to go away from myself. Now, if you quickly have a look, I'm going back again actually. You see like the little hashtag thing next to the C there? That means sharp, okay? You're gonna get different symbols. There's sharp and then there's flat. 
there's a sharper note and a flatter note of whatever the note is. In that case, since I was playing that, I'm saying C sharp. Okay, so you might see those later on when you're trying to do this. So there's a D. We don't want it to be a D today. Sometimes you might want it in a D if you're doing blues. Not today. We want it to be a perfectly tuned low E. So there's the E, can you see? On the green, that's pretty good for me on the nose, right? Let's try the A now. Okay, so it's a sharp, right? So it that means it's gone past where I want it, whichever way you're gonna look at this, but past on the needle. It's gone too much, too far, tight, if you like. So, bring it down. There we go. Now, because it was tight, okay, I don't want to then tune it perfect. What I want to do is I want to go a little bit further, so I'll tune it a little bit down. Because what happens is strings are continuously pulling, you've got the gauge of the string, okay? And I don't want, if I went straight down to a perfect A because it's tight, what's going to happen is it's going to continuously pull itself. So actually, I want to come a little bit further and then tighten it again. Tighten it to the A because then it stop the gauge from pulling each other. Okay, hope that makes sense. D. Oh, sorry, D. So we're on a C sharp. So we're pretty close to the D. Not far off. Stops pulling into the string. And then I can tighten it now. Perfect. And there we go. 
that's how you tune your guitar, or either a clip on a little tuner, or um, your phone perhaps. Electric guitar, you plug uh, the, the, the lead into like an electric guitar tuner, pretty cool. So that's how we do it. So lastly in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to tune your guitar by ear. Now, first of all, it's going to be sound a bit weird at first, right? So let's imagine all six strings are completely untuned. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your low E, which is the closest, your thick E, to a perfect E tuning. Now the way to do this is either to use your uh, tuner, like a clip on like mine, or if a friend has got a guitar and his, his or hers is perfectly tuned, they can do that and then you can tune yours until yours sounds exactly the same as theirs. That's pretty good for tuning the ear. Or you can use like a reference pitch, something like, for example, the perfectly E uh, key on a piano, for example, that kind of thing. So the idea is to again get your thick E string perfectly tuned to an E, right? And by doing that, you can then tune the rest of the, the remaining five strings on your guitar by ear, okay? So there's a little diagram popped up now on the screen, hope you can see that. And what you do is, the diagram shows you, you get your index finger or any finger you want, and you place your finger onto the fifth fret of the thick E string. And by doing that, instead of playing, if you played it as an open, that's an E, but when you put it down on the fifth fret of the E, right, you're now playing an A note. That's an A, right? So what you do is, you pick pluck your thick E string with the finger on the fifth and the open A string together or at this moment in time it'd be your fifth string because your open A would be tuned to something completely different your fifth string but we need to tune it to an A so what you do is you hit them both together the mine's obviously perfectly tuned so you can hear that it sounds exactly the same but let's say yours isn't perfectly tuned because it won't be you're then going to be hitting both those strings together while tuning your A string like this. Tuning your A, tuning your A. Tuning, tuning, tuning until they sound perfectly the same. Then you repeat the practice again. This time pressing your finger down on the fifth fret of the A string this time, which is now playing a D note. So when you hit that string and the open D together, Mine's going to sound exactly the same. You want to do the exact same principle. So you're tuning, 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 and you're hitting the other like so. Oh, they're not near, not near, not near. It's too loose. It's, it sounds too low, too low. So you've got to tighten it, got to tighten it. Until they're ringing together. Now, obviously, this is not going to happen in five minutes. You're never, you're never going to do this in five minutes. The best thing to do is just have a go at it. Try and listen and hear. And then retune your guitar and do something else and come back to it again tomorrow or the next day. Have a go, untune your strings a little bit, and have a go again at trying to get your strings by ear nicely tuned, right? It's gonna take a bit of time, but it's a really good exercise to do. So once that's tuned, you then move down, put your finger down on the D of the fifth fret, and then you try and tune your D and your G together, exactly the same. And then, now what you do is you slightly change it. So instead of pressing your finger on the fifth fret of the G string, you then move your G string uh, your finger up to the 4th fret of the G and by doing that you're now playing a B note so the B note is on the 4th fret of the G and again you've got to tune it, tune it, tune it and you're like going, oh, do it doesn't sound right, tune it, tune it, tune it and you've been doing it for like maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes sometimes on some strings, some strings really are difficult to tune and then once you've done that, last but not least, you then go back to the 5th fret again just like the diagram shows us you push your finger on the uh, B string on the 5th fret and then you hit those two together until your high E is perfectly tuned <laughs> and you've got perfectly tuned open notes again that's going to take a lot of time but the whole principle of that is for you to just start getting used to hearing the notes and hearing how they sound together really neat little um, thing actually you think about how incredible it is that the notes are pretty much all the same on just almost one fret, apart from one where it goes on to the fourth, you know, to tune your guitar. Really clever stuff, this guitar thing, isn't it, right? So anyway, we're going to move on to the next lesson. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, now, if you wanted to have a bit more explanation about this whole tuning by ear and tuning and finger diagrams and chords and frets and all the rest of it, 
Uh, I've got an ebook that I've got. I've actually got two ebooks. Turn on, I've got two ebooks. Click on the link below this video, and I'll send you two free guitar guide ebooks, completely free. Uh, and inside the guitar guide ebooks, there's a lot more detail than what's in this kind of beginner series here on YouTube. Just a bit more more detail on on paper, if you like, so you could use the ebook along with these. So anyway, I hope this has helped, and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson where we're going to start playing chords. Here we go.